Hey guys, Jonathan here at Shadow Foam, and we've got a bit of an emergency on our hands today. Jenny from Airsoft Anonymous, one of our resellers, has had a serious injury on her hand, so she can't cut any of the foam cases that she had planned. So it sounds like we can help. We're gonna head off to Basingstoke. Don't worry, Jenny. Help is on the way, dear. Help is on the way, dear! This is no fun. Help is on the way! We'll see you soon. Hello, sorry we're so late. I can't believe we should have been here about half one. Jenny? Oh, yes, how you doing? Nice to meet you nice in to meet person you. properly. TJ? You That's it, mate. Yeah, and Kirk, is he about? We have a Kirk somewhere, we will find him. Yeah, oh, so I'm, so, I'm glad we made it, it's still in opening hours. I'm sure you'd have waited for us, but yeah, it was a bit of a, a, bit of a drive. Basingstoke's further than it sounds. I don't know, <laughs> further than it looks on a map. It didn't seem that far, but it's like four or five hours. You know, I just bet we should have turned left at Albuquerque. Well, it looks amazing in here. I've seen a few pictures actually, but seeing this armory wall set up here is pretty intense. I love all the colors. Are these all airsoft rifles? Or Because some of the, this thing up here, it's like a, a musket from like the 18th century yeah, or something. Yeah, Jack Sparrow's rifle. Boy, my pistol. Yeah, so you get lots of different rifles and things with airsoft. You know, a lot of them are imitating the real thing. Yeah, yeah. And you get, you know, regular assault rifles. They look then... very seriously real, don't they? Something like that as well, with a little bit of wear on it and everything. Yeah, it looks yeah. the business, doesn't it? And that's the, um, the MP5. You've got uh, what they know as the HK slap, which I might get told off doing, but uh, it's that one. Right, right. You must have seen that in Die Hard. But um, yeah, so you get regular rifles, you get sniper rifles, shotguns, pistols, yeah, yeah. mini guns. You know, it's 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 a bit crazy. It is a bit crazy. It's crazy looking at it to be honest up on the wall because some of them look really intense. But I've never really shot. I've never shot a rifle like this. So before we leave, we'll have to get a go because I, I I snuck a peek at this a minute ago. Tell us what this is. Okay, so this is our range. Yeah. Uh, it's where we can test guns out that we've worked on, any guns that we've upgraded. Customers can come and bring their guns in and test to see um, how powerful they are because they yeah. need to be below certain limits for the UK. Wow, wow. And yeah, we've obviously got the target system up there that people can come in and play and have a shoot on. Yeah, I love it. Right, so what is it that we're doing today then, Jenny? Okay, so this is one of the new KWA uh, limited edition guns and we're going to be doing a fancy build on it. Kirk's going to take it away and do some internals and cool. we're going to have it in its own shadow foam fancy case nice so we're thinking gun on the bottom load of the case teal foam up to make the uh, the gun actually pop and then we'll do a kwa logo in the lid yeah yeah with the magazines like it, either like side yeah, yeah yeah that's heavier than i thought it was going to be actually that's the first time i've picked that up and it's uh some weight to it isn't it that's still pretty light <laughs> is it right wow yeah. if we give you a gas one it's it's really heavy the only thing i've got to compare it to is just plastic bb guns as a kid so i've not really actually looked i think we've actually we've done a pellet gun case in the past like a little hand beretta thing it feels like the real deal doesn't it with the weight of it so teal side up on the top yep and then what about the base how do you do that do you do that that way or so i would do that that way up um obviously you'll get a, a gray layer but not too fussed about that yeah fab and then we're going to do the these are the clips are they and they're going to be in the lid section or are you, are you having anything else down here um no i think we'll keep this as you know featuring the gun okay yeah. um it also leaves a bit of space if people want to put any extra accessories on or in around the case got you got you um, but yeah keep all the uh, magazines on the lid layer Love it, okay, smashing. Right, so you would usually cut this. You do loads of these projects. I've seen some of your work, Jenny, and it is pretty amazing. I think you've uh, you've really mastered the craft of cutting shadow foam. Uh, and I know that you've um, hurt your hand, so you're a bit out of action for foam cutting at the moment. So I'm stepping up to the plate. So I've cut out the shape. I've cut all the way through this first top layer. How does that look? That looks pretty good. So my uh, five-year-old son actually collects foam, shadow foam rifles. I saw that, that's why I wanted <laughs> to keep it in one piece. Hey guys, have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, it'd really help us out if you click that subscribe button and click the little notification bell and then you'll get a notification next time we put a video live. But that being said, let's get back to it. So we've cut all the way through that layer uh, and then I've also moved on to cutting through this layer here. Now we're on to a bit of peeling. We've cut all the way around the profile and then we've gone back again and made sure we've cut down deep enough. And I've cut down about 20 mil all the way around. So we're gonna peel back 
20 mil of foam now, and then we're gonna get it smooth with the new smoothing tool. But we should be able to get it roughly smooth just by peeling it. So I'm gonna start at the muzzle, uh, and then we're gonna start peeling it back. So I've already, I've already started peeling actually. I jumped the gun a little bit, but essentially all we're doing here is just digging my fingers in and just tr chasing it along, almost like plowing the material out. What we found now is this layer is a nice example because the first layer peeled out really nicely. The second layer has come out a little bit more scragged. So this is a nice time to use this little smoothing tool. So all we're doing is where you can see we've got a few lumps and bumps. This is called a spinner. It's in the impactor. You can use this in a normal combi drill or any drill. We're just putting it in there and you can see with a nice flat bottom on it, it will sit on the natural base of where we are and we, it'll just spin up and we'll just basically just slicing off those little lumps and bumps. Right, so uh, what else do we need to do? do we, are we cutting this in? Oh, yes. We've got the, uh, About the there? there? Yep. Okay, so I need my glove again. Okay, so we've done the inside of the case and Jenny's just nipped out, so we're gonna do this logo and hopefully we'll have it done before she gets back. We're going for this KWA Originals logo, which is a little bit more complicated than I think anything we've tackled in the past. Uh, we're gonna do it with one of these, uh, with a little bit of a bigger scalpel knife to give us a bit more movement. So if you don't recognize this, there's, we'll put a link in the description to where this came from. We're gonna also use one of Jenny's top tips, which is this like, temporary contact adhesive which she recommends for gluing down a logo and then we can wipe off all of the glue and residue afterwards. So I've measured out where I want it and I'm guessing we just spray it on the material and just stick the top down. Right, that looks straight, I'm happy with that. Let's start cutting. Right, so we've cut the logo in. We used the chunky knife from Matt Esley, so we linked that. This is just because it's got a bit of a thicker handle, and I just wanted to try it, really. I mean, we usually, I cut logos with just a normal knife, and that does perfectly well, but I was just trialing this one. Sometimes a bit of a longer knife or a bit of a stouter handle, and you can get a bit more movement. We've got the logo cut in. I'm pretty happy with that, uh, and then we need to put the magazines in, and they have, it's really critical with something like this that they are square, because they're gonna like look like a dog's dinner if they're off. So um, we've used, this is another tip from Jenny, which I appreciate because I was naturally just gonna measure them into position. But we've put some uh, masking tape, top and bottom, and then what I've done is measured the points. So we've got eight centimeters to the point on that one, and then 11 centimeters to the point on that one. So we know that they're gonna be symmetrical. We've done the same with these two, and we've marked them, and hopefully they're, they're gonna be in a nice neat row and also in the same position. Uh, yeah, so we'll just cut around these, and then we can try it in the case and see what it looks like. Right, so we finished cutting the logo and the magazines. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it, but you're, this is a real test. You've cut a lot more of these logos than I have. What do you reckon? I think that's brilliant. Yeah, I think KWA would be pleased with that too. Yeah, it was a bit of a tricky one. I think uh, these, especially the A's, the center of the A's are so, you don't realize well, how small, small they are. Yeah. I think the overall effect of it is still really good. It pops through with the color too. It does, this is my favorite color. Yeah, the teal. Yeah. Yeah, it, it surprised me how popular a teal is actually, so I'm glad to hear it's gone down well. Right, let's put it in the case. That's a good phone, hopefully. <laughs> Stay in. Right, so that's... Uh, all finished and it looks the flipping business. I, I think this, uh, the detail of the logo sets off that bottom layer. I think we don't do much with color top really, having it flipped over and it does look really good. Are you happy? What do you reckon to my attempt at cutting foam? I'm impressed. 
Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'm impressed. It's come out really good. Yeah. Whoever ends up with this can be really happy, and I think uh, KWA are going to love it too. So, if you're looking for some airsoft equipment, head down to uh, Airsoft Anonymous. You can find this shop dead easy. The links in the description to the website and the address is in the description too. They've got all kinds of stuff we've shown you in this video. Well, actually, we can't come all this way to Airsoft Anonymous and not shoot one of these rifles. So, there is a shooting range next door, and before we head off, we're going to have a look at shooting some targets. Okay, I'm reloading. I'm gonna have that on safe. Okay, yeah. And do you want your sights up? Uh, yeah, I suppose. Sights. There we go. And yeah, turn, point, shoot. That, I can tell already that's uh, that's more powerful than I'd expected as well. They all come back at you. Which is why we wear And don't point and don't point it at you, that's the other thing, isn't it? That's the other top tip. So we can put it on full auto? Yeah, have a go full auto. And when you do full auto, you want to do short control bursts. Right. Why? Am I pulling a weird face when I'm doing that? Because that's gonna be on the movie that'll look. <laughs> <laughs> that weirds my face a lot. Do my grotesque features amuse you? I'm surprised that it doesn't uh, that it doesn't hurt. So we're going to do the pain test, Matt. <laughs> you actually win. <laughs> Touch me again, I'll drown you, you bastard. Big thanks to Airsoft Anonymous. Big thanks to Jenny and Kirk and TJ, the team at Airsoft Anonymous. Really welcoming. And yeah, hopefully we'll be back down to do another video soon. Yeah. Oh no, Thank you guys much. You guys are coming to Shadow Foam next, right? Yes, we're coming to Shadow Foam next. And uh, yeah, I'll bring all the cases that I can't get done. Yeah. Got nothing to do it for me. Well, maybe. <laughs> So let us know in the comments about any projects you're working on. This is my first attempt at an airsoft rifle, uh, and it is pretty complicated, but I know that you've done some really seriously complicated inserts with magazines and scopes and accessories and stuff. So we'd love to see your projects. Let us know in the comments what you're working on, or head over to Instagram, Shadow Foam on Instagram, and you can tag us in your pictures. We love to see, we read every single comment that comes on our channel. So hit us up on Instagram, hit us up on the YouTube comments, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you like that video, why not check out some of our others? We've got new videos coming out every week. And Colin Furs, what's the quickest way for people to see these videos? That's Subscribe. It.